Crawley, and it's a billion light years away. Welcome back to Bumblebee, everyone, where today we search the stars to find ourselves the top 10 most haunting photographs from space. This is gonna be a slow pace and shorter video since I feel it's more about appreciating what we're seeing. I highly encourage taking time to pause or rewind to take a good look at each photo. So starting us off at number 10 is Phantom Clouds and Darkness. Nebula IRAS 05437 plus 2502 doesn't have a very catchy name. These are NASA experts after all. As we learned from Elon Musk, their name and creativity even for literal offspring doesn't go much further than point and pick some numbers and letters. But it does certainly look like it's a surrealist painting to say the least. I could honestly get lost in the layers, arches, and rolling clouds that create an almost religious image with just how awe-inspiring it is. Staring at it long enough, you may see a phantom rising up from the back of the dust clouds or an angelic figure at the top of the floating yet mountainous staircase with an arched entryway. NASA and ESA's Hubble Space Telescope took this image in 2010, but scientists are still unsure what causes the bright glowing arc near the center. Maybe it's truly divine. Number nine is, well, it's hard to find words, but its name is the Gaping Maw. Ew, don't like that personally. Anyways, it's specifically the Gaping Maw of a sunspot. The sun is an active place with filaments, holes, and flares that are constantly shifting across its face like a pool of liquid magma. That what you see is a close-up look at a very dramatic sunspot as seen by the Big Bear Solar Observatory's telescope in 2010. This gape could be compared to a few things. Maybe the toothy opening of the Sarlacc pit in Star Wars, or if you fired a bullet through a grapefruit like the Mythbusters. I can tell you from my very unfortunate experience that this is also kind of what it's like to look into a puncture wound on the human body and see the tissue inside. No matter what you see, I'm sure it's something uncomfortable enough that you just want me to move on. So I will. Number eight is Ghostly Hand. I'm not even a Marvel fan and their franchise is what I thought of when I saw this picture. It's giving Scarlet Witch or Doctor Strange or even Morgan Le Fay, which if you've seen the recent video, historic sorcerers that actually had powers, you'd know is a character of Arthinian legend found in the Marvel Strike Force comic series that Audrey Plaz will be playing on the big screen. If you haven't seen that video, maybe check it out. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to The Hive. Anyways, this ghostly hand was caused by a pulsar lurking in the center, which to quote, is a rapidly spinning neutron star, which is spewing energy out into the space around it to create complex and intriguing structures, including one that resembles a large cosmic hand, according to NASA, who snapped the picture in 2009 with their Chandra X-ray observatory. Thanks to the pulsar, a disembodied phantom-like hand looks to be grasping at the void. Calling all the ancient astronauts, number seven will be about the thigh bone. As you can imagine, this picture you see on screen caused quite a kerfuffle online after NASA released the image in 2014. Understandably so, because this appears to be a thigh bone smack dab in the middle of Mars. NASA, who's just so tired of us and likely assumed that this would happen, pretty much instantaneously released a statement that no, this is not a human or an alien or whatever's thigh bone. This is apparently just a rock that very conveniently eroded by wind or water to look like that. Because notoriously, there's lots of wind and water on Mars, literally. Anyway, sorry folks, no alien burial grounds are on Mars if we want to believe the space people company. Number six, we get to check out the Skull Nebula, which to me looks like a circle. I don't know, I'm not very sold, but apparently this bad boy creeps a lot of folks out. The Skull Nebula is a consistent in our galaxy, built up of several stars doing an elaborate orbital dance, in the words of NASA. This particular picture was taken in 2020. What earned it the skull name was obviously its ghastly colors, reminiscent of, well, a flayed human skull. The telescope's view highlights of the nebula's hydrogen in red and oxygen content, which is light blue. Also, if you kind of turn your head to the left like this and look at it sideways, you can kind of see the two stars sitting in what's arguably the eye socket, a thick red cloud making up the nose, and the empty space where cheeks are meant to be surrounding teeth. So what do you think? Spooky scary skeleton or space dodgeball? Next up is what you probably see when you die. It's number five, the carbon star. This one, unlike the last, kind of got me. It seemed unassuming at first, but the longer you stare in the little orange glow of the void, the more you pick up. The hexagonal patterns of mist, the layers and colors, it all amounts into a tunnel of sheer oblivion reminiscent to light speed in Star Wars. I feel like if you drink a little bit of funky tea and pull this picture up on a laptop, you could possibly discover the meaning of the universe somewhere in it. Dare you to try if you're brave. This baleful orange eye is carbon star CW Leoas as seen by the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA and the European Space Agency captured this image in 2021 as the star collapsed inwards upon itself and died. More ghastly figures of the sky. Let's do Ghost Nebula for number four. Another entrancing surrealist painting-esque image. This photo 
captured in 2018 by the Hubble Space Telescope is depicting the ghost nebula that haunts the constellation of Cassiopeia. It's absolutely beautiful, it's spectral like appearance coming from a veil of swirling gases and dusts. As mentioned, it really does have the cadence of a surrealist painting. To give you comparison, this untitled piece by Salvador Dali shows textures, tones, and shifting lines that I personally find reflective and even haunting about this particular space formation. Even if humans cannot see such things as the ghost nebula with our own two eyes, as we stand on Earth with our own two feet, the connection between man and the divine above has always shown through in art. How we spent so long staring up at the wonders above us that even unwittingly, without ever truly seeing them, we've always found ways to capture and convey the sky, the stars, and their artistic fluidity into something two dimensional, such as the wisps of a surrealist painting. And now we're incredibly lucky to capture these beautiful space formations, such as the Ghost Nebula, in images like the one I can show you today. Number three will have you ready to sing This is Halloween. It's a jack o' lantern sun. Isn't that the funnest thing you've ever seen, though? And while it may look like an impressive feat of Photoshop, this is actually a purely natural phenomenon. Similar to our earlier gaping maw, still such an ew name, this jack o' lantern face is the result of a series of active regions on the sun bursting and bubbling, making what appears to be a cosmic pumpkin carving appear on the sun. Or maybe it was the work of Jack Skellington. For number two, we're going to stare into the scariest void of all, the eye of a typhoon. This is our Earth, the one we're on right now, obviously. And in March of 2015, Typhoon Masak, also called Typhoon Shedang, went, spent a week ravaging the Philippines, killing five and injuring dozens. During that time, astronauts at the International Space Station were able to look down upon the Category 5 storm, prompting the European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti to capture the horrifying image you see on screen. The power of the formation is visible even from the safe distance of space as rain and lightning hide behind the deadly swirl. And coming in at number one is Space Station After Dark. While it could arguably be a still from Insidious 16, the Space Spectre, this nightmare picture is actually just part of the European Space Agency's astronauts Alexander Gerst's photo series, which he naturally chose to make about, no, 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 not pretty stars or colors or earth cloud rotations, no, 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 no. His collection was the International Space Station at night, which evidently is horrifying. But Gerst had been up in space for a full year at this point, so I mean, to him, this was bread and butter, baby. Or maybe freeze-dried bread and butter. The main photo I'd like to address is the empty space suits with covers over the helmets, which look like a good start to a horror film. Honestly, maybe I never recovered from that alien horror film life, but space just isn't for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking this journey with me. As I mentioned, I do advise taking some time to rewind or pause to truly appreciate these photos, as many of them are incredibly stunning. Besides, a little existentialism doesn't hurt now and then. Drop a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed, and comment down below which of these photos were your favorite and why.